is how you hack a Tesla Model 3. Uh, underneath here is a, is a connector that he pulled out and then connected a 12 volt. And that is running all of his inverters for his sound system. He's gonna have a concert here run off the Tesla. So he's gonna wake the car up. So this is a, um, this is Scan My Tesla. This is an app that shows you all of the data points inside the car. Mm -hmm. So you can see right now with the idling, um, this amp is actually turned on. So if I turn this off, then the power goes down below 200 watts right there. That's the one we're looking at right there. Okay. 170, somewhere in there. So turn this on. So that's one of those speakers. And you can see it's only drawing like, you know, 50, 60 watts or something like that. And that's all the way up on one of the speakers. So that's a 2,500 watt inverter. Right. So I don't know how to, and that's a 2,500 watt amp. Right. If you look under here, there's some, I would take this all the way out, but there's that's some fine. connecting it. So this is, this is, um, this is where the main battery, all the high voltage stuff mm -hmm. goes out to the 12 volt in the front, which powers like the air and the screen and the locks and stuff like that. So took this, made these huge cables and wired it in there with that so that it draws off of this and then goes to this, which really just regulates the, the voltage. 12. Yeah. So it, let me stuff this back in here. Oh, sorry. So that, um, so that the car doesn't notice that something's plugged into it. The car has all these uh, really sensitive smart fuses in it. And if it notices anything weird, it freaks the car out. So in order to be able to, like even just plugging the inverter into the battery directly would brick it out. It wouldn't let you do anything. Um, but if you plug the battery in first, then it can't tell that you're doing other stuff to it. It just feels the power coming, but it doesn't notice anything weird happening. So that's a little buffer battery, and then it goes to that inverter, and then out to the amp. And the Anderson plug that makes it impossible for me to plug it in backwards. And so I can just unplug that so that I can leave this in here, but cool. I can take all this stuff out. Cool. And then I just take this apart. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. Great job. Thanks.